Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. I want to say a very warm welcome to any of you new subscribers over the past uh, week. Um, you have successfully uh, helped this channel reach 46,000 subscribers. I have given away a lot uh, in the history of this channel for free. And no doubt if I was sent things for free, I would have given away a lot more. That being said, um, I typically have a, a giveaway now and again. And and if you can all help this channel get to 50,000 subscribers, there'll be a pretty hefty giveaway um, with three tiers as well. Um, so it won't just be one item. I'm trying to decide what that giveaway will be. The quicker that I reach that target, the quicker the giveaway will come around. Big thank you to all of you members and uh, patrons um, that help support this channel and allow me to create daily content for you all. Thanks again to everyone uh, that watches the videos and uh, leaves a comment and takes part in all of the live streams. So let's jump on over to uh, the Warhammer community website right here where there's been quite a bit of news over the past week. If we go back to like the 11th of February, uh, if you can remember, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, all the way back to the 11th, right here. So we had the Saturday pre-orders. A few things I wanna say about these. Uh, there was a lot, um, and this is coming straight off the back of the World Eaters uh, pre-orders. Uh, we had Kill Team Soul Shackle, so brand new Kill Team set um, with these Arbites. They look like judges um, from Judge Dread. They look fantastic. The Jakari, mm, yeah, uh, they're all right, I guess. Uh, and then you've got the other Kill Team uh, sets that are available separately, which is the Imperial Navy Breaches Team, the Kroot Kinban Kill Team, the Karskin Kill Team. A lot of people have been waiting for those. Um, the Hero Tech, Hero Tech uh, Circle Kill Team, uh, the Kill Zone Gallo Dark, um, so you can boost your terrain for Kill Team and 40k. And you've got some Shadow Vaults upgrade set as well along with some books, so the Kill Team Into the Dark, uh, Shadow Vaults, and then a load of dice, which they're looking pretty samey now, orange and this, you know, bolt gun metal kind of um, colour. And then you've got some Imperial Navy Breaches dice set. Uh, Warcry, not much difference is there between, <laughs> between the Kill Team dice set and the Warcry dice set. Uh, and then you've got uh, new box game Warcry Blood Hunt with a couple of new warbands in. That look quite cool. And then you've got the Hunters of Huanchi, Hunchi, the Jade Obelisk. And then for 40k, we had the Void War bases. And then for Horus Heresy, we had the Sky Hunter Squadron. Um, interesting thing with these, they sold out pretty quick. So there's definitely a um, demand for them. Um, they sold out on the third party websites as well, uh, even so that they're going to have to kind of restock them. I haven't seen levels of this demand since the initial release of uh, Warhammer the Horus Heresy. So that's pretty good, um, you know, that uh, I say almost a year on, sort of eight months on, um, we're getting, you know, units and products for Horus Heresy that are, yeah, sold out. Then you've got the, um, from Forge World, the Salamanders Mark VI heads and the shoulder pads along with the word bearers and the pads. I will be picking up the word bearers heads and pads at some point soon. They're not going anywhere, they're not made to order neither, any of these and I think off the top of my head it means the only uh, Mark VI upgrade packs we've got left um, to be released uh, is for Alpha Legion. So uh, Then we've got Middle Earth, some made to order heroes and villains and then White Dwarf 485. So that was last week's pre-orders. Uh, the very next day at six o'clock in the evening, we normally have the pre-order preview, which showcases the, the pre-orders for um, the week after. So these will be the pre-orders for today. It's kind of like a wrap up for the Astra Militarum um, force. So you've got the Combat Patrol finally. I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. Looks very decent. Uh, you've got the Cadian Castellan there with a plasma pistol and power sword. But you've got a huge amount of options for arms, weapons and heads that kit. Uh, you've got the Commissar. You've got the Attilian Rough Riders. Fantastic that they've upgraded this set. I hope everybody goes out and buys these because we need more 
units, factions, products, regiments, everything um, for for Astra Militarum and Imperial Guard. Um, we this just it's whole it's completely saturated by Space Marines, and we all know that you know Astra Militarum and Imperial Guard are are the most abundant um, units in in the galaxy, other than probably orcs. <laughs> You've got Cadian upgrades, they look quite cool. You can just customize your um, Cadian box set even further with those. You've got the Aegis defense line, that looks quite nice. That has a bit of scenery. You've got the Black Library Celebration 2023. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Uh, like, it's a celebration, but it's a celebration for you to pay more. Probably a reason why I'm not in charge of Games Workshop is I would give this a miniature away for free uh, if you spent I don't know like £50 on books or something rather than charging like £24 this captain is which is just crazy for a single plastic Primaris um, miniature yes he is a character and he's got a couple of head options but we've got so many um, Primaris characters and single miniatures nowadays uh, you've got the Dawn of Fire Iron Kingdom uh, in special edition, I think that's already sold out. You've got the Iron Kingdom Dawn of Fire novel uh, in hardback and digital. You've got the End and the Death Volume 1 already sold out. Um, and I just hope that the people that wanted this book, special edition, receive it. That's my biggest hope because if we go over to eBay right now, um, you can see that some Australian is trying to sell the uh, end of the death for almost 700 pounds for a 50 pound book clearly they didn't want this book at all clearly they didn't want it they didn't want to read it they didn't want to enjoy it they just wanted to rip you off so just bear that in mind i can only feel disappointment um for for people that really wanted this and they weren't able to to pick it up you know you could have been you know up at whatever time this morning you could have been there ready for 10 o'clock on the store and yeah people have just scooped this up um it for the sole purpose of making money could say hey that's capitalism for you but it doesn't soften the um the disappointment for those people that really wanted it so um you've got this map uh there's a bit of confusion but this map is actually like a little fold out map within the book um, there will be the the the, few, the last few maps coming out at some point, and I think they're about forty pounds each. Uh, you've got the end of the death um, in hardback and digital edition. You can still pick up the hardback, I think. Uh, if you're not able to pick it up today, um, Amazon are selling it as well um, for cheaper than Games Workshop. Just remember that. Uh, then you've got the Black Library Celebration 2023. Some short stories there. Bad Loon Rising in hardback. Now that's eighteen pound, and I. I wonder if they're using the really cheap China um, paper uh, in this. We'll find out. Um, you've got Angels of Darkness by Gav Thorpe. That's been out before, but it's a nicer edition. And Skarsnick, um, Reader's Choice Winners. That's been uh, re-released in paperback for the nice price of 8 99 You've got the first founding book. I think that's sold out too. Uh, and then a couple of books. Uh, oh, there's a sort of made-to-order. Print-on-demand. See what I mean? They've got made-to-order, print-on-demand, last chance to buy. They're really, yeah, focusing on that. And I don't think it's because they're running out of uh, uh, warehouse space. Um, then Warhammer Plus, we had a battle report of um, for 40k with some gene stealers. And then uh, the Black Library Celebration. So a closer look at Captain Macinius. Yeah, he looks all right. He's got power fist in a different arm, though. Hand, though, if you notice that. Maybe he's got two and he just swaps them. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it says uh, you can represent him um, using rules for a space marine captain. So he doesn't even have his unique rules, I don't think. Not that I'm, a, I'm aware of. Um, but you do have this Battle for Lionsgate uh, strike force, which is quite cool. Build a huge Warhammer Age of Sigmar collection with Stormbringer magazine. I initially looked at this and I felt like there was like too much going on. Um, I mean, look at these. This is, you can get all of this. So, you know, if you like Oryx and you like, um, and you like the Stormcast Eternals, um, then, you know, this, this will be right up your street. 
uh, there's got some, there are some like um, characters in there as well. Uh, it, it's odd because it looks like there's more than just the Stormcast Eternals. You've got some Caradron overloads, and you've got some uh, Sylvaneth as well. Um, you've actually got some uh, Gloomspike Gits in there as well. Quite a nice chunk, and some Oryx, your Nail Guzzler Gargant. Um, you've got the Loon King himself, and you've got some Fanatics, I think, and a fungo Fungoid Cave Shaman and a loom boss. I mean, I would get that if I didn't already have quite a sizable Gloomspike Gits force, um, and I'm not interested in, in any of the Stormcast Eternals, well, except for those two dragons, they're quite cool. And the scenery pieces, yeah, all right. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, that at £9 an issue, that's still going to cost you £720, um, you know, and that, that £720 for me, I would rather finish a couple of um, Horus Heresy legions and things. So that's what you've got to weigh up um, with these kind of collections. Is what you could, what you could buy. You could buy a Titan with that as well, almost. <laughs> um, you've got Imperial Agents data sheet. This is quite cool, and I hope that this is in the um, data sheet FAQ kind of download section. I'm sure it is, but you can download the data sheets um, for these Inquisitors for 40k. 8th edition which is fantastic and uh, I'd always like to see this free stuff and more of it as well it just goes to show that they can do all of these rules and things for free um, for miniatures and they should and they should be able to have links to those models on the store as well and um, this is fantastic uh, you know I need a I will be printing these out rather than keeping them in a folder on my on my tablet um, but uh, but yeah they look uh, great so you've got the Calidus You've got the Calidus, you've got the Calexus, uh, you have the Eversaur, you've got the Vindica, the Lord Inquisitor, Kyria Draxus, uh, Kotiaz, Greyfax, Kara, Karamazov, uh, just a normal Inquisitor, Eisenhorn, uh, the Weaponsmith, Acolytes, and the Demon Host, as well as Imperial Navy Breaches, and... Rogue Trader, Woodsman at Arms, and that's it, and then the Armoury as well. So a nice cheeky um, 17 pages there. They could have had this as like a, a mini softback kind of codex thing. Um, I probably would have put some more units in, like an Arvis Lander, um, maybe a Chimera. So a couple of things like that, really. Um, I probably would have added in and turned it into a little book. But um, yeah, I guess we're not getting these in in a you know print form uh if they've decided to to release this uh, you know digitally um but uh, i think that's pretty cool that they've got it on here um there's a look at the new attilan rough riders updates to the classic designs these were what we had i say way way back um and i don't think we had a, we ever had a refresh so this is the new refresh they've got these uh frag tips and melter tips so these hunting lances with these Different tips, just the tip. Um, yeah, they look uh, quite cool. You know, they've got some armour on the front, haven't they? Yeah. In the 41st millennium, we're going around on horseback. Who would have thunk? So, code rights are the ultimate rule lawyers. So, Caradron Overload, Caradron Overlords. So, is this their new book? Yeah, in the new part, in the new battle tome. So, is that a new, new mini? You've got the Rimmer Engine, 14th of February. Nice axe definitely 40k or something that power axe you've got boarding patrols so they've given up already on combat patrols um but they haven't given up on the word patrol so they've they've turned them into boarding trot boarding um patrols uh, are these the new combat patrols um i i think they'll probably be the same price because you've got one two three four units in there Hey, it would be great if Games Workshop completely turned a corner, and because these models have been out quite a while now, um, years and years. Uh, if they turned a corner and just said, "Look, you know what? These are all forty pound each. Can you imagine 
Can you absolutely imagine? Um, but yeah, they're, they're leaning on the um, uh, the kill team, boarding patrols and things, and just bundling these miniatures in these uh, box sets. Uh, Black Library Celebration 2023, story so far. So you can read this. Well, okay. Why you need to read this series? Okay, so is it a story so far? Well, it's a three minute video. So I'll leave that up to you. I won't spoil anything. Um, in the green darkness of the far future, there is only love. Uh, the end of the death volume one is nearly here. So catch up on uh, the Siege of Terror so far. It says spoilers ahead, massive banner and things. Um, if you haven't already, I would recommend you read the books. I have every single uh, Siege of Terror book. And um, my favourite is actually none of the main books. It's Fury of Magnus. That's my favourite. Mortis is a close second. I would at least try and read all of them before, you know, part two of The End of the Death um, come out. If you're just going to read The End of the Death, you, you're missing out on a lot of things. Um, a lot of the battles, a lot of the duels and things like that. And it just won't have the same kind of punk punch as well. Boarding actions, uh, battle report. It's a classic. Space Hulk. I haven't actually watched that one yet. but uh, 40 years, the Imperial Dragon roars. So this is the Imperial Dragon. I like these um, like uh, little showcases and things. Don't you think that looks a little bit like Skyrim? Um, you know, when they have a little bit of writing, black and white writing, and then an image of, of something, and it's like slowly rotating. It looks very similar. Regiments of Renown, let your Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Army Hire Mercenaries. So these are, you know, more <laughs> board and patrols. Uh, no, it's not. It's just like uh, little, little regiments, I guess, um, with some characters in, with some units. Uh, none of them really tickle my fancies. Uh, I would probably get the hug. Gax's Pit Beasts if I didn't already have those miniatures individually um, and the others uh, just a yeah, collection of, of minis. They, they look quite old though. Maybe they're not but they do. Um, yeah. So the, so the, even Age of Sigma are getting these kind of boxes. Um, you got Warhammer in the Antarctic. Meet the Royal Navy officers. They get to um, have a bit of hobby goodness in uh, quite a uh, cruel um, and in, in uninhabitable kind of uh, environment. So it's good that they're able to uh, play Warhammer and not get frostbite. How are they rolling the dice though? Hmm, okay, well, the mind boggles. Uh, Horus Heresy Thursday, this came out of nowhere. Look how cool this miniature is. I mean, if all of the Imperial Assassins weren't your cup of tea, and they certainly aren't mine, I, I dislike them for a number of reasons, one of which is the very high price point, you've now got Traitor Legion Assassins. Um, wow. Uh, well, we only see one of them anyway. It's a transmutative armaments. You've got a hammer blade, a spine slash, or a talon rakes. Um, you've also got a load of heads. Yeah, character heads upgrade set. Um... I guess mainly because we don't have that many heads in the plastic kits. Um, but you've now got some character ones. So, yeah, choose your heads um, wisely, I guess. I think some are geared towards Space Wolves. Some are definitely geared towards um, Iron Hands. And then we've got... The Terminator himself. <laughs> Warhammer 40,000 Meta Watch Arcs of Omen launch. And then Immortal Empires is for everyone in the latest Total War Warhammer 3 update. So you can download that. Uh, you've got the Black Library Celebration 2023, Behold the Glorious First Founding art book. So this is the art book for the First Founding. I'm sure it's lovely. Um, that looks quite cool. 
Yeah. Awesome. Uh, you got the Black Library Celebration 2023 Armies uh, step from the page to the paint and handle. So some of these are from um, the books that are coming out. Euro Ventress. Araman. Uh, who are the best commissars of the Astra Militarum? So you've got Severina Rain. Right handed, but has the sword scabbard on her right side. Yeah, really bizarre. Uh, Cyphus Kane. Ibram Gaunt. Yarrick. So there's just a few of them. Black Library Celebration. Find out what kind of grot you are with Bad Loon Rising Quiz. This is a new book by Andy Clark. And then um, what type of git are you? So uh, I'll leave you to find out what type of git you are. Um, then you've got KD and Kit Bash's part two, creating loyalist regiments. So that was all of the news this week. Quite a lot to go through um, uh, this this week. Let's go on over to Forge World and have a look at the uh, pre-orders. Um, so here we are. Um, there's just a big advert of Hammer of the Emperor. Add some heavy support with Astro Militarum tanks from Forge World. I do like that if they haven't got anything to pre-order. They'll then support Games Workshop release. They're a sister branch of the same company anyway. But um, it's nice that they're kind of um, showcasing. If you're buying anything for Astro Militarum, you've got these two um, you know, as options. Uh, you know, If you wanted to add further units and things. Um, but the only pre-orders we've got... Uh, are just the Mark uh, Six heads and shoulder pads, and um, which we had from last weekend. So these are now out today. Probably people will be receiving them, but they're fourteen pound fifty for eleven heads for both of them, uh, or fourteen fifty for ten uh, shoulder pads. So they can be yours. So nothing to pre-order from Forge World this weekend. So let's jump on over to Games Workshop now. So here we are uh, on the very first page. There's a big Black Library celebration, twenty twenty-three. Um, there's a there's a timer thing there which which is actually pointing to um, three o'clock. Bit bit odd. I always find someone's obviously made that. They they can change the time to like ten o'clock, I guess, and then yeah, because to me that just looks like three o'clock. But maybe it's just it's the symbol, isn't it? It's the symbol that these are you know limited um, to to pick up. And boy, are they limited. Maybe they should just put like two minutes. Um, in that circle because that's kind of how long you've got and um, before everything gets sold out uh, you've also got Astra Militarum so the big focus is just the Black Library celebration not the the rest of the Astra Militarum release interesting um, if we go on new and exclusive pre-orders apparently there's 40 uh, we go high to low and we view all so a few of these were up uh, for pre-order last weekend which was the Warcry Blood Hunt and the Kill Team Soul Shackle, but uh, this weekend we get the Combat Patrol Astra Militarum, £95. I don't know about you guys, I don't know whether that's gone up, but um, I'm pretty sure Combat Patrols were like 85 not 100 But anyway, you got 28 multi-part plastic minis. It's £5 off 100 Th This is going to be the breaking point, I think, for people. Paying um, basically £100 for a combat patrol. Uh, you know, bring back the start collecting sets is what I would say. Kill Team Kill Zone Gallo Dark, uh, £90 for last week pre order. Got the White Consoles Parade Ready um, paint bundle for £68.14. Uh, Slave to Darkness was um, a little while ago. Uh, the Siege of Terror, End and the Death, Volume 1. I bet you £700 that this is. Um, out of uh, stock no longer available which it is so two and a half thousand copies gone just like that quicker than the 500 um, copies of the Columbus bike gets uh, a battle tone so yeah end of the death looks lovely um, signed by Dan Abner looks like a lot of pages as well Okay, so not as many pages as I, as I expected. I mean, obviously, I could never write a novel of 480, but that's not the point. The point is that the previous book, Echoes of Eternity, um, had 520 pages. So this is still, you know, similar um, range. Uh, but you've got to remember, this is part one. So it's volume one. Um, so I think there's going to be two volumes. Um, so if we take that into account, then, yeah, we can see that, like, part... The end and the death 
um, as a whole is going to be probably close to a thousand pages, uh, which is yeah crazy when you think about it. But uh, anyway, yeah, you can't pick up that anymore unless you want to pay um, an extortionate amount on a auction website. Uh, you've got the first founding hardback pre-order forty-five pounds. It's not limited, I guess, um, but that looks quite nice. Explore the nine loyalist chapters of the first founding. Um, written by Guy Haley, Nick Kime, John French, David Geimer and Callum Davis. A nice group of people there. You've got, you know, it looks like a nice book. £45. Um, it's probably got nice, uh, it's got page edges, it looks like. It's got a page keeper. It's a nice coffee table book. You've got um, background information and artwork for all of these, uh, really. So, um, background and art book. I don't know how many pages this is, though, but looks to be maybe 200 maybe 100 you've got the ages defense line 45 pound it's quite pricey um i was hoping this would be about 30 maximum this is all made in china as well i think 45 pound is a bit steep for this it doesn't look any more detail than we've had before actually either um yeah that's a bit disappointing uh, you've got the iron kingdom special edition uh, also not available online £45 for this, I think it's quite fair. It looks like a decent chunky book, gold page edges, a page keeper. Um, yeah, that's about right. Uh, it's probably a decent size too. Um, all the, the kill teams, most of them, uh, all the kill teams were for last weekend, but then we've got the Attilan Rough Riders, £37.50. I don't think that's too bad. That's the price point that they're setting there. Um, cavalry and things uh, nowadays. God, can you imagine if we got um, £37.50 uh, Death Corps in plastic? Can you imagine that? Um, so yeah, they consist of 122 plastic components, so it's over the 100 mark, so that's good. Um, the Legion Sky Hunter Squadron was last weekend, uh, so were these kill teams and so were the books, so was the uh, bases and the dice, but new miniature for today. Uh, we've got Captain Messinius, 24 pound is way too much. Uh, should be 21 pound maximum, I say. 24 pound is, we're almost at the, we're knocking at the door at the 27 pound 50 Morgan Ra price, aren't we? Um, but it depends if you like white consoles. My chapter, it was black consoles for a long, long time, and I'd probably lean towards them being all black consoles. I've now have some Dark Angels, um, so there's a bit of Dark Angels in there and a bit of black consoles. <laughs> Obviously going to paint him black uh, and have him as a black console, clearly. Uh, but uh, but yeah, £24 for him, for one sprue. Uh, kill Team, Kill Zone. Upgrade Shadow Vaults, £22.50. That was last weekend. Pre-order the Commissar, though, £21. I'm just really interested to see if he's got any options. He does. So he has a chain sword or a power sword and a bolt pistol, and that's it. So you can't have him with a last pistol. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you've got the Cadian upgrades, £21 here. I think this is quite fair. It looks like you're getting two sprues as well. Um, 25 different heads, loads of arms, Ro Rogal Dawn tank officer as well. Um, and you can it's compatible with the shock troops and command squads as well. Um, so that's quite good. You've got the Cadian Castellan. Now this guy has a load of options. So he's got a plasma pistol, a power sword, uh, a natural bolt gun. I'm not even sure how he's been able to fire that thing, but um, I'll blow his arms off if, with the recoil. Uh, he's got a las pistol, a bolt pistol, um, a chain sword. What's this? He's got a power fist. <gasps> he's got a power fist. Oh, that's a really cool looking power fist. Oh, I'm not really keen on the p the old funky um, tubing though. But I guess some of them did have tubing, and you know he's not in power armor, so how would it be powered? It would have a self-contained power unit. It'd need to be connected to something. So that sort of makes sense as well. Um, but yeah, loads of options for this Castellan. I'd be all over this if I collected uh, Cadians. Um, £21, not too bad for that one with all those options. Uh, you've got some books to pre-order. Um, first and only uh, in hardback. Necropolis. Uh, so, and then Ghostmaker. So three books there. Um, for uh, So it's Gaunt's Ghost, isn't it, really? But they've um, split them into a few. So they've been around before. Yeah, £20 each though. <sighs> wow. Um, I guess Dan needs paying. 
He needs pain more than that end of the death book, doesn't he? Um, you've got Kill Team uh, Dice. Been around for a while. Uh, you've got the end of the death and hardback. It's still available. Um, uh, that picture, I'm sorry, but that looks really, really chunky. Um, really, really chunky. It's not going to be that chunky. It's going to 480 pages. That's, that looks like it's 800 pages. Um, Angels of Darkness 20th Anniversary Edition hardback. Uh, you can still pre-order this. I should really pick that up, to be fair. Uh, Bad Loon Rising by Andy Clark. Uh, the thing is, though, I'm going against books, hardback books, normal hardback books for £20. I don't mind paying it for Siege of Terror, but when you start getting these hardback books for 20 you've got the Bad Loon Rising hardback. I really, really want to know what the paper quality is for this, but um, that's also no longer available. Um, so that's £18 for that one. Uh, and then you've got the Iron Kingdom in paperback, uh, Macarium, Macarian Crusade. So that's in paperback. You've got the Macarian Crusade, Angel of Fire paperback, and Scarsnick in paperback, all for eight ninety nine. Um, I mean, I'd rather the paperback books be like four pound ninety nine, but if these are a bit bigger, then it might be worth the extra couple of pound. And then the Black Library Celebration twenty twenty three in paperback. It's a nice tie up of the. Astra Militarum with the Combat Patrol. Um, I like that the Combat Patrol, we haven't had to wait too long since the initial release. Hopefully that's going to be the same for the World Eaters. Hopefully we get the um, World Eaters uh, Combat Patrol next weekend or the weekend after uh, up for pre-order. Um, so we don't have to wait too long for those. Um, you get some, we've got a little bit of scenery, a lot of books because it is Black Library Celebration um, and a couple of characters as well. So still a, a weekend that I didn't think there'd, there'd be a lot of pre-orders, but yeah, they've, uh, they've gone and released a lot uh, anyway. What do you guys think? Uh, what have you um, pre-ordered today? Were you able to pick up any of the special editions of the books and things? And what will you be generally reading over Black Library Celebration? Myself, uh, I'm getting through Anger on the Red Angel book at the moment. I think it's fantastic. Other than the small font size, which I am massively nitpicking. Uh, but it's really odd that they picked a smaller font size compared to all of their other books. And I would say that I've got good eyesight. That's my only nitpick. Everything else is is really nice and very well detailed. Um, you'd expect it for, for David Geimer. And I'll definitely be starting um, The End and the Death as soon as I uh, get that. I like to keep up to date with all of the um, Horace Heresy Siege of Terror books. Um, but please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you today. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.